Hey, Garrick Wordmuller of the Garrick Wordmuller Show, and today we have a very special episode, very much the pilot episode of the Garrick Wordmuller Show. Back in 2008, I made this video when I first learned I could edit videos. I got excited and kind of had a videography hobby, which is I started this channel in 2013. Um, kind of did nothing with it until 2020 and just started posting stuff again. Um, mainly for me. I mean, I doubt anyone's even going to watch it, but Garrick, this is your video when you entered the Food Network, and so really the Food Network, I was season five semi-finalist for the next Food Network star, but I bombed when I got to New York, forgot pancetta, and was nervous, and they're asking you personal questions as you're cooking with spotlights on, on a set you recognize from TV, so I just kind of blew it. It was a lot of work. I have the application here. A lot of work to get to that point, and then utter failure, but... um. The video is still good. I'm still going to have my show on TV cooking with the G-Man. 2008, it didn't happen. 2028, you better believe it, buddy. Oh, hey, guys. Just checking in. Want to make sure we're still on for 1.30 today. The game starts at 2. I'll be making my G-Money Money Q sauce and another exploration of American regional cuisine with Garrick. It's going to be great. Whoa, what's going on? We're getting ready to start our money queue now. Money queue is basically my version of a Kentucky slash Tennessee style barbecue sauce. Um, and we start with half a yellow onion, green bell pepper, one whole green bell pepper, and saute. All right, we're going to throw in our dry spices. We got some onion powder, cumin, cayenne, paprika, thyme, chili de arbol, which is very spicy. Uh, it's going to go well with the cayenne pepper. Uh, ancho chili powder, which is a little more uh, robust. And California chili powder, which is more of a milder chili powder. Okay, spices, we added them. They've coated, they frosted. We're deglazing with a beer now and a shot of bourbon. And if you can have Jack, Jim, or Johnny over, I recommend Jim. We add a quarter cup apple cider vinegar, a quarter cup Worcestershire sauce, a quarter cup brown sugar, two tablespoons molasses, this entire bottle of ketchup, and a, just a dash of liquid smoke. <laughs> All right, this is what we're looking for. It looks gorgeous. It's gonna be even more gorgeous in a couple hours. So we're gonna turn this down and it is puerco time. For my spice strips, I take equal parts cayenne pepper, salt, and black pepper. And then I add two parts paprika to three parts onion powder and a little bit of ground oregano. Here we take our spice rub. We just apply liberally. And uh, you can do this uh, 24 hours in advance would be ideal. Okay, we got our hot pan, we got our pig, and we go. All right, we're seared, ready to go into a 350 oven, two hours, baby. Okay, so the pork has been cooled and pooled, and now we're gonna put the money cue over, and I actually just let the meat in the sauce cook for a couple more, for about an hour more. Mahogany wings are so good and so easy. Equal parts money cue, Dijon, hoisin, Mix them together, add them to your wings, like so. Let them Rack them up. We'll see you in 45 minutes. All right, now we're gonna throw in some Cajun hot links into the mix here. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna throw them on the grill, and uh, then we're gonna add the money cue to those. And well, All right, the meat is done and ready for a bun. Mahogany wings, check. Once the links are marked up, then we throw them in the money queue. We're good to go on those. Well, it's halftime out there. I know Food Network, this game hasn't even begun. I just want you to know, it's game on. Garrick Wordmuller. Show!